Hi, it's been a minute since we've uh, been able to go fishing together. We've been really busy with tournaments and then travel, and it seems like when we had time to fish, we couldn't because it was windy, but we're back gonna try to catch a couple today. Scott's down the uh, dock here trying to catch us some bait, and we'll see what happens. I saw some flash in that net. Did you catch a couple? I did, sorry I didn't wait for you. <laughs> <laughs> I tried. <laughs> sorry I didn't wait for you, but yeah, come take a look. Um, I was walking down the dock and couldn't really find any over there near the rocks, but over here they decided to show themselves. Even though this water's rippling a little bit, they're, they're kind of hugging the dock here. There's another little school right there. I'm going to try and get on them. Um, but you got to be quick sometimes. Got them. Well, look, they're flying That's out of the net. That's way more than I need, so I'm going <laughs> to I'm gonna put these in the bucket, get down to the live well, and uh, then we're going fishing. What do you have in there? These are a uh, live bunker, peanut bunker, we call them, uh, more commonly referred to as LYs. Scott moves really fast when he's carrying a live bunker trying to get onto the live well. All right, so game plan today is uh, we're going to head down toward the Route 50 bridge inlet area. That's where the flounder is starting to stage up this time of year before they head offshore out to the deep. So September, October can be really good months. We even see them into November sometimes. Water up here right now, though, is a little bit dirty. I know we've still got a, plenty of incoming tide left. So we're going to take a trip down there and see what the water looks like first. If it's dirty like here, we're probably going to hit the south jetty and try a sheep's head or a tog for a little bit. And then as it cleans up with the incoming tide, we'll move to the east channel bridge, fishbowl, uh, and we'll put different rigs on for that, obviously, when we're flounder fishing. But let's see what it looks like down here when we get to the east channel. Water's clean. We're going flounder fishing. If it's still a little dirty, we'll probably hit the jetty. Here we go, right by Scott's favorite place to fish. <laughs> and this is my favorite time of year to do it too. That's pretty cool. Some of the some of the big boys live in here, man, and with, with the boat traffic down to basically nothing, uh, there's still some folks fishing over there on the on the bulkhead, but there's not much boat traffic here at all, man. This is this is heaven to me. Yeah. So what we're gonna do is. We're going to use two different types of rigs that we offer. Um, one of them is a live bait rig, and you'll find that in the larger packaging like this. Probably still going to have fish in OC on the top just because we have a lot of these left. Um, but it's a great rig for using live bait for everything. Um, flounder, trout, rockfish, drum, we've got everything on it. It's real simple to put on. Take the tag into your line here, there through the eye. It's a three-way inline swivel, and what that means is the inline part of it goes directly like that. It's not the triangle shape. You'll see the inline, so you're gonna tie that there because that's the way the hook comes off. Just do your simple fisherman's knot. Six or seven twists around the main line. Go through the loop that you made. And then pull all that tight. That's all you need. Get rid of your tag end here. And then this rig is really easy. It's got a sinker clip built into it. So just pop the clip. Probably gonna use a two ounce sinker to get you started. Sit on them. And then simple as that, just put the sinker through the eye of the, uh, or excuse me, put the clip through the eye of the sinker, snap it shut, and then this one's ready to go. So there you go, live bait rig on Kristen's. Um, more on these later. So that's ready to roll. What kind of hooks on there? Uh, that particular rig has got a live bait hook on it. It's an octopus style hook. So it's good for um, be putting larger baits on like bunker that we're going to use today, spot, uh, mullet. They fit on there just fine, but plenty small enough where it can get inside a flounder's mouth. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to test uh, the new rig that we got just a little while back. I'm going to test the Deadly Tackle Fish Finder rig. This one's slightly different than the live bait rig. It's got a circle hook on it. It's a little bit larger circle hook, so you can fish for stripers, drum, that sort of thing on the beach, or you can bring it back here in the bay and try for these bigger flounder. And it goes on a little bit differently as well. Um, so it comes with what's called a sinker slide. It's got the same clip on it that a lot of our other rigs do for the sinker, but this actually goes on the main line. So what you're gonna do is take your tag in, you're gonna put it through the sinker slide, and that's going to float on the line. So basically what happens is when a fish picks the rig up, the sinker's sitting on the bottom, he can move it without moving the sinker. He's not going to feel it as much, right? Because it's going to slide up and down the line. And then 
your swivel will bump into it so that the leader will be far enough away from the fight. Same thing, fisherman's knot. Six or seven times around that. Cinch it all tight. Get rid of your tag in. And then my sinker goes on the same clip. It's a live bait rig. You're gonna put it on the clip just like you would the live bait rig or any of our other rigs, slide it down. But then now, as you can see, the fish is able to pick that bait up, picks the bait up, and the sinker will sit in the exact same position while he takes it away. Not as likely to feel it. Uh, that way that sinker and then we'll put a couple of uh, bunker on these things And we're fishing. All right, I had to jump out of there real quick The uh, one of these bunker dead bunker got stuck in the drain for the live well So the live well was empty and onto the deck, uh, but I'll take care of no big deal So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna take a live bunker and we're gonna put him right through the lips and then up through the tip of his head very, very fragile fish, all right? But that's all you need. That's all we need. Right through the tip of the lips, that'll keep them alive as long as possible. And then we'll throw it back here on the bridge, see what we can do. See if you can catch mine before I turn the camera on. <laughs> We're in a little bit of a tricky tide right now too. It's the end of the incoming tide, so the tide's not pushing us at all. The wind from the southeast is pushing us this way, so we're not as quite as, as close as I'd like to be, but I don't want to be sideways to the bridge. So we're gonna we're gonna kind of inch over there, and then the tide starts going out, we'll switch over to the other side of the bridge and we'll fish from there, fish in this direction from the north side of the bridge. That's called stinky beach right there. There's Martha's landing and I was late with the camera. What happened? <laughs> uh, Did you have a bite? I think I had a bite. I think I had a bite. Oh, we were drifting along and then I kind of I lift up. Yeah, you want to lift up, you know, you want to you want to take your rod tip and just bounce it like this when you're fishing with live bait uh, for the exact reason that you just missed a second ago. Sometimes you'll pick it up, you'll feel that tension and you don't feel a bite, right? You don't necessarily feel the thump of a flounder biting on it, but he did it while the line was slack and you lift up and you feel his weight. That's a good time to just to try and set the hook if you think something's on there. That's what just happened to me, but missed it. And then drop it right back down. Put it right back down. Alright, felt the same thing I felt a second ago. That's a fish. Alright. Not much to it, I don't think, but we'll see. All right, that's the idea, man. That's the idea. All right, so the old live uh, live bait rig works, but now we know so does the fish finder rig. All right, great little rig, man. I didn't really have to set the, the hook on him because the fish finder rig's got a, a circle hook on it. So the difference between a straight hook like those, um, those live bait hooks and a circle hook is, this is a non-offset circle hook, meaning that it doesn't kick out here at the point of the hook. It's a straight line. And then you can see the circle hook part of it. Basically what happens is it gets into the fish's mouth and then as it comes out, it doesn't hit anything until it gets to the corner of the mouth. And then boom, that's when that hook engages in the corner of the mouth and you pretty much hook them in the right spot every time. Check your rod, baby. You got a little something going on there. Scott caught that fish. We're going back to do another drift and he's tying me on my favorite. What are you putting on, Scott? I'm sure they know better than you do. The chartreuse huh. deadly double. Love that rig. Maybe it'll bring me some luck. The big one is waiting. Ooh, that looks like a nice fish. It certainly is pulling pretty good. That's right. So if it's a flounder. Mm -hmm. Spinning kind of like a skate. No, it's a big flounder one. Dang on the sun, don't miss that one. Please, the wheeze. Shoot, 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 shoot. shoot, shoot, shoot. Can I, I got him. Yeah, yeah, baby. That's a nice fish. <laughs> oh my God. Yeah, baby. <laughs> Let's go. Let's 
crazy. Yes. Oh man, that's the best one I've called in a while, sir. Hey, that is a big <laughs> dish. <laughs> that's a good one. <laughs> I'm trying to get it out in the sun there. Let me get away from the rocks. Yeah, that is pause. It's <laughs> fat. Oh shoot. It's funny, we were sitting here, I broke my line off and I was just watching Scott fish, but we're gonna get right to the end of this pier and then go someplace else. See how close we are where the flag is? You can bet we're gonna be going by that pier again. <laughs> right? And I was just thinking I was gonna tell you all about our trip we took a couple of weeks ago, just to tell you something. And next thing you know, he's like, I got a fish. And then I don't know if man, you can see it in the video, bite. but man, that's a beast. Let's look at it. I'm getting an official measurement on this. And a photo. Yeah, that's wow, cool. that's a beauty. Look at that. Watch this hook. What a nice fish. Look this is why you keep. This is why you keep pressure on fish, folks. This hook is not in his jaw. That hook is not in his jaw. It's basically. It's basically just doing this. It's basically just caught in there. The pressure from me reeling him up is what kept him on there. But this thing just comes. Literally comes right out. Yeah. That's a 23 or 24 inch, baby. Yeah, that's a fat fish. We'll have to get the scale out if it's working. Easy, big man. That is a nice fish. Not as big as I thought. 22, though. <laughs> it really looks bigger than 22. How is it so fat? Yes. Oh. When I saw it on the surface, that thing looks Sunshine. Massive. Here, come on over here. Look at this sunshine fish. <laughs> yeah, that's a good one, man. I bet he weighs close to four pounds, if not. Yeah. That's a great one, man. Look how thick he is, sideways. Yes, sir! <laughs> Good job. Thanks. Yeah, babe. He caught back to my line wanting in the water. <laughs> right, hun? What? I said you caught back to my line wanting in the water. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's a great fish. <laughs> He's at least three and a half. I'm gonna say, I'm gonna, it might be four. It might be four plus, let's check. Oh, oh, whoa. He's, ooh, whoa. It's got a pretty good pinch on it. All right, when he settles down, oh, you heard the beep. I don't want him shaking when he beeps. Four pounds, one ounce. <laughs> Real nice yes. When it first came to the surface, I thought it was over five <laughs> pounds and over 24 inches. Yeah, I, like I, on top of the water. You heard me, I called 23 or so, but I think it's yeah. just because he's so wide top to bottom. And he's so fat. That is a fat flounder, man. Yeah, and th this time of year, we can expect that. You know, they're all coming down here. They're feeding. They're getting ready to head offshore. Um, and they're staging up down here around Route 50 Bridge, South Jetty, North Jetty, and then obviously right off here at Martha's Landing. Yeah, baby! So You're the reason why I'm down here right now. Say what? <laughs> what did you just what did you just say? You that right there was pretty dope, bro. That's awesome. Thank you very much, man. I you watch a YouTube you all day long. You watch the YouTube <laughs> channel? Absolutely. That's fantastic, dude. Thank you very much. What's your name? My name's Ramir. nice to meet you, brother. I'm Scott. This is Kristen. How are you? Real good, thank you. A little bit better now, actually. Yeah, I made my day. <laughs> thank you, man. That's awesome. I was gonna see your fish. Yeah, okay, let's see her. Okay, I'll show you my fish. Oh yeah! Nice. Beautiful. Eh, not giant, but yeah, that's, that's So before Scott caught that fish, I was going to tell you briefly about the trip we took at the end of August. That was really awesome. There's three things that are our favorites. One is fishing, which you know. Two is eating, which you probably know. And three is what, Scott? Traveling. Traveling. Yeah. I put you on the spot. I was hoping you were going to say the right thing. Um, so at the end of August, we went to the, well, we were supposed to go to Bermuda, but we ended up going to the Bahamas because a hurricane came through. What was the name of that hurricane, do you remember? Uh, Franklin. Franklin, that's right, end of August. Um, but the cool thing is if you're watching this and you're kind of local, you can go out of Baltimore on Carnival. It's not expensive and it's really good food, good entertainment. They have really good comedy. Um, they're cheaper too. So. If you wanted to take a cruise, check that out. Um, we highly recommend it. We had a good time. All right, Scott, look up another big one. Yeah. I got it. I might be done, but I don't care because you catch a 22 inch four pound flounder, you can be done. That's right. That's your whole day right there. All when in you catch one a nice dish. fish yep. like that. Look at that beautiful setup. 
I don't know, can you see it? I got my chartreuse deadly double. I have my bunker on there. Really nice. I've had a couple of bites. Sadly, the nice bite that I had, uh, when I set the hook, it also snagged. So I lost the fish and my line. It was good times. But Scott's doing good. Oh my God, not again. This don't feel like much. Well, still. Yeah, there's, so there's my line out of the water again. <laughs> oh, look, that's why. <laughs> uh, <laughs> that's suck. Okay. I'd rather not have anything than that. You are thing. exactly right. You know what I need for this one? The D, the D hooker. Look at him. He was hungry and greedy. Shake off, baby. There he goes. What? Oyster toads suck. I guess I should put my line in to try to catch something today. <laughs> yeah, that's the best way to catch something is with a line in the water. Look how amazing. I don't know what that is, but it's fighting pretty good, so. Oh, there we Slow go. Slow down. Well, I don't think it doesn't feel very big. Well, too much for you, Cooper. There we go. Yeah. Nice that's going, you're on the board. Good. Exactly. We're on the board. I can never outlive that if I don't get to catch at least one flounder. Oh. Yay. There you go. Pretty oh work. Oh my God, I love catching flounder. <laughs> I don't know why I love it so much. You know why? Because I'm lazy. I love bottom fishing. <laughs> you like fishing Too the fair. bridge, but I like just dropping it on the bottom and catching it. All right, there Yay. you go. You're on the board. I okay. don't think that fish is going to make it. No, definitely. But that's okay. Don't forget your limits, folks. 16 inches, four per person. 16 inches and four per person. Oh. That fish is 15, I bet. Yeah, he's fat though. All right, I gotta drive, okay. see it. I pull away from it. <laughs> Red forts! <laughs> I got that one. Oh, look at this <laughs> stupid lizard. So I'm the king of stupid fish today. The sun is setting and it has been an amazing day. The weather's been perfect. We are doing one more drift and then we are heading out of here. Uh, so far we've caught, Scott had a throwback and then that nice 22 inch fish. I had a throwback and then I had another throwback. We didn't get the camera out in time, uh, but it was another one probably in the 15 inch range. And now we're gonna do our last drift, drift and see what we can do. There's Big Bird Crapper. Famous. 23 inch flounder, 21 inch flounder, 20 inch flounder. Now the trout's been hitting over on the sandbar. We're going to see if we can finish it off with the trout. No! And that is why I'm we call him the world famous big bird <laughs> and nature boy. I want boy. 12, but I ain't got potatoes. <laughs> you got 23 inch flounder too? Had to keep her striped. Had to keep her striped. It's short grand slam. Wow! That you guys are All good. Pretty much. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, but now the flounder, I got that on the sandbar. And they're laying right in close to the rock, I mean right next to the rock. Look like this. Wow. Oh, he, he's he's a good fish, man. Where's the good Man, you guys are good at what you do. Nice! Dude, right. practicing with the inshore classic. Of course! <laughs> okay, so it's so good at this thing. We're gonna grab a picture too. This is cool from the water shot. Alright, ready, Sean? Hold on, hold on. Got it, yeah, right there. Yeah! Woo! <laughs> Pretty work, fellas. Yes! And we got another day tomorrow. Yeah! Woo! Good luck, pick them up. There you go. Hi, guys. Hey, guys. Hey, guys. Beautiful. I just had another throwback we didn't catch on film. Let's see whether Scott can get a keeper.
It is a beautiful night. Still can't see it yet. That might be a keeper. Yeah, we'll take our it's chances. Close. All right, look at this. Ooh, that one back there? I don't know. I just jumped pretty good. Yeah, pick that one here. up. Huh? Yep. This one there? I'm going to get this one in the net. Do I need the net? I don't think so. You sure? Actually, it just jumped off. Oh. It was it was teeny tiny. All right, I'll, I'll catch the keepers and, and you just... <laughs> just kidding. Just kidding. Hey, All right, here we go. Let's, uh, I'm going to hand this back to her and see what this fish is. Like, he might be 16. Let's give him a quick look. Look at that sunset in the background. That is nice. Ooh, the chartreuse. Or, I mean, uh, salmon, salmon red. Salmon red. Or what do we call it? Orange. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. Right in the bucket, pal. You want to go home with me, don't you? This has been an active I'm little spot tonight. I think he's 15. Fifteen. Yes. Similar Fifteen. To my other guy. Yep. So or a actually, couple throw. Oh. Whoa. <laughs> Were you throwing that at me? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> All right. What do we do? Are we leaving? Yeah. We got to keep at it. All right. Pick that one up. Let's I do caught, one more drift. I've, you haven't seen it, but I've caught it. Well, three throwbacks that weren't on tape. Then the one that I just tried to reel in and topped off, but that one was real small. And then Scott just caught. Have you? Is that your only throwback? On this little... No, I caught a throwback before I caught the keeper. Oh, yes. Yeah, so the, the big one. We definitely caught a few fish. All right, here we go again. Ah, I pulled it away from him. Yeah. Shallow water's tough, man. Shallow water's tough. You got to let him eat it for a couple seconds because you're so scoped out. And the fish is right on top of it. So if you're getting that nibble, 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 just make sure you let him have enough line. I didn't do that that time. It's funny because right before he, I just did the same thing. <laughs> Great job on your fish. I'm so happy you got that. Yeah, that was pretty awesome, man. Uh, that's the biggest one we've caught in a little while now. 22 inches, four pounds, four Since pounds. Since my one last one. Yeah, your last one was in the 22 yeah, or something. I had a coat on, so it was cold. Yeah. <laughs> but beautiful night here, man. We had a feeling that the, the weather was going to be nice this evening. It was a little bit warmer than we actually thought it would be. Yeah. Uh, we both brought sweatshirts, and now we don't even need them heading back yet. Uh, but a great night on the bay. Um, had some really good fishing over here in the fish bowl, and then I caught that really nice one off of Martha's Landing. That fish was a really nice flounder, 22 uh, inches and uh, a little bit over four pounds. So great stuff. Fall fishing is awesome down here, man. You saw Big Bird Cropper. They were killing it. They were killing it. Limit of bluefish, keeper rockfish. They had a 23-inch flounder. Um, that's pretty awesome stuff. We'll put a photo of that up here right now because that was that was a really awesome catch. They're practicing for our inshore classic tournament, guys, October 7th and 8th. You can fish all or any of 32 hours starting at 7 a.m. on October 7th. Go all the way through the night and fish until 3 p.m. on Sunday if you'd like. We'll have scales open on Saturday evening and then again on Sunday. And then we pass, pass out a lot of money on Sunday night. Big Bird Cropper and Sean last year, I think that's how they paid for the trolling motor. They won about 8,800 bucks, almost nine grand they won for the first place rockfish. Um, they had a couple other categories. And then we even paid out like 5,500 for the first place flounder, man. So there was really good money in it, almost $23,000 we paid out. Uh, so for a little inshore tournament with 50 something boats in it, that's pretty awesome stuff. If you can make it for it, um, make sure you sign up on Friday, October 6th, five o'clock. We'll start doing signups at the Sunset Marina activity room. Um, anything else for your adoring fans? Thank you for admitting that I caught that fish. I didn't have to lie this time. Oh, like you ever lie. <laughs> when you catch a fish and lie about it, I'll be the day I die. <laughs> oh, anything for your adoring fans? Uh, well, I don't know. Okay. It's been a little while. Well, then we'll leave it at that. Thanks for sticking with us, even yeah, though man. we were really busy in August. We were busy August, so uh, July and August. So she's right. So thanks very much for sticking with us. Thanks for clicking into the channel here. Mm -hmm. If you haven't done it already, make sure you hit the subscribe button, like our social media. It's Fishing OC on Facebook, I Fish in OC on Instagram, and we got a brand new um, Back the Blue shirt coming out. We'll put an image of that up right now, too. That'll be available sometime around October 14th or so after we get done with um, Harbor Day on the docks over there in West Ocean City. So Lennox, out. Bye, guys. Thanks for watching.